Hi, we are from Group 11. In this video, we will present our outcome for best culture of mind, microalgae, and grow measurement. Introduction, what is a batch culture? Batch culture consists of a single inoculant of cell into a container of con fertilizer seawater, followed by a growing period of several days and finally harvesting to measure the primary productivity. The primary productivity of algae can be measured through growth in cell density by cell direct counting and optical density, or through biomass of dry weight and H3 dry weight. The objective of this batch culture are first to do specific scale batch culture within the same microalgae in Conway medium starting with 10% and 20% inoculum. Second, to observe, follow, and compare the growth phase of microalgae culture of 10% and 20% inoculum by observing algae morphology, cell size, color, number, and optical density along culture period. Third, to determine and compare algae species growth rate and duration time in each volume of inoculant use. Fourth, to harvest and compare algae biomass as dry weight and ash free dry weight in culture of 10% and 20% inoculant. Preparation for batch algae culture by using Kundu medium as a recipe of culture. Firstly, the process of inoculation was done near a plane in some cardboard to prevent contamination. Two batch culture of 10% and 20% in them were prepared according to table below. After that, the conical flask, which is different in a film of batch culture, were closed with cotton, copper, and wrapped with aluminium foil to prevent contamination. The best culture was placed on a shaker and incubated for 13 days at temperature in range 21 to 27 degrees Celsius and light intensity of range 1440 to 1659L. In the following days of algae culture, color of fresh culture was observed and recorded by taking pictures. Then the cell counting. Then the cell was counting by using HEMA cytometer for each inoculum under microscope. In this process, changes in cell morphology, size, and number were recorded. After that, the optical density were determined by using spectral photometer. Before measuring the spectral photometer was calibrated by using blank sea water. After that, the inoculum was filled in a cuvette and measured it at solvent of different earth length every day. Next, after doing all observation, counting cell and measurement, the 50 ml of inoculum microalgae is poured into two separate centrifuge tubes. GFC, microfiber filter paper, Free weight is used. Then it will be centrifuged in the vacuum pump. Then the filtered microalgae will be keep dry in the oven at 65 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. Then it is transferred into the crucible and had been weighed to get the dry weight. Then it transferred into the furnace at 540 degrees Celsius for 4 hours. After 4 hours, it is transferred into the vacuum desiccator. To keep it cooled down. Then it will wait again to get the ashes reading. By using the formula of algae dry weight minus ash, we will get the algae ash free dry weight. In this batch culture exercise, some of the calculation formula was used. For the cell count, the cell density was calculated by using the formula of number of cell per mil equal to total number of cell count times total area of yield used in HEMA cytometer divided by the area of counting units used times the number of counting units times also the volume of total yield used. Next for the optical density, four different formula, four different formula generate from the standard curve of nanoporosis culture was used to determine the number of cell per square 
approximately from the wavelength used. Where y is the absorbance of each wavelength and x is the number of cells per square approximately. The number of cells per square can be inserted directly into the same formula used for counting the cell density in cell count where this time where this time the value do not need to be divided by the number of counting units as x equal to c divided by n also. Beside that, goal rate and division type of algae also is calculated by using the following formula. Where for the goal rate of algae, formula used was ln x2 minus ln x1 divided by t2 minus t1 where x1 and x2 are cell density at two different times t1 and t2. Time taken for the algae to divide can be determined by dividing 0 0.6931 with the goal rate. As we observe, from day 0 to day 15, we can see that the color intensity increases as the days increase, which indicates that there are cell growth and the chlorophyll pigments increase. Based on figure 1, we can observe that the cell division occurs. In figure 2, different cell sizes were observed, where large cell indicates it is mature, while the smaller cells may have just been divided in cell division. Thus, the values of cell sizes indicate growth. The values obtained for the cell count were then tabulated and a graph was plot, as you see here. The y axis shows the cell count, which shows the number of cells per 1 ml, and the x axis shows the time, which is different in days of culture. The red line refers to 10% enough left, and the blue line refers to 20% enough left. As you see here, day 4 has an asterisk behind it. This means that there is no data on the day due to technical error. The graph we obtain is not accurate, since the graph is fluctuating. The lag phase can be seen from day 0 to day 1, as the rate of increase is very slow. The rate of exponential increase can be seen in three periods, which are from day 3 to day 6, day 8 to day 10, and day 11 to day 13. Thus, we can use these values to calculate for further reference. Using the previously obtained value, the growth rate and the division rate were calculated. This was the table we obtained using the values we calculated, and the table was used to produce graphs. The graph on the left, which is figure 4a, shows the growth rate and the period in x-axis and y-axis. The red coloration shows 10% in a film and blue coloration shows 20% in a film. Similar coloration refers to figure 4b where the y-axis shows division time and the x-axis shows period. From here, we can see that in period 1 and 3, the growth rate in 20% in a film has higher growth rate with shorter division time than 10% in a film. This may be due to some errors since logically, 10% inoculum should have higher growth rate than 20% due to intraspecific competition such as nutrients and other food source. At period 2, the value seems correct as seen here. This is due to 10% inoculum grows faster than 20% inoculum since the nutrient competition in the 10% inoculum is lower as 20% inoculum has higher algae count in it. Overall, all three periods show decrease in growth rate and a rise in division time. And this indicates that the growth rate of algae is declining as time passes. In future studies, we can suggest that the culture period should be extended until the depth phase can be seen, so we can investigate the factors affecting the fluctuation in exponential growth besides human error in cell counting. Another relation should be seen here that as growth rate increase, division time decrease. This is because as division time decrease, the number of cells divided in one day increases, thus it correlates with the growth rate. 
optical density, which is also obtained from the spectrophotometer, is also used as another way to find other cell density. Four graphs are obtained according to the four wavelengths we use. The first one, which is figure 5a, is using 440 nanometer. 5b shows 485 nanometer. 5c, 685 nanometer. And 5d, which shows 750 nanometer. From here, the similar asterisks can be seen in day 4 and day 11 for these three graphs. And the last graph on day 4. This shows that there is no data due to certain technical errors. The red line refers to 10% and the blue line refers to 20% same as previously. From here, we can see that all these graphs show general trend of increase. This shows that cell division and growth occurs in each nanometer. For 440 nanometer and 685 nanometer, it is used to detect the chlorophyll A in each cell, while 485 nanometer is used to detect chlorophyll B. 750 nanometer is used since there is no chlorophyll which absorbs this nanometer and we use as a control the values obtained in the optical density was then converted using the previously stated formula into cell density thus growth rate and division time were obtained so thus this shows another way of us finding growth rate and division time thus comparison can be done to see which is more accurate similar y axis and x axis values and similar coloration indicating 10% and 20% from here, we can see that the 10% inoculum has higher growth rate and shorter division time compared to 20% inoculum. This, as stated before, due to the competition of nutrition in 10% inoculum is lower than in 20% as 20% inoculum has higher LDA volume. The temperature and light intensity does not affect much in this growth as all these factors were kept in a constant situation and they were exposed to constant light and temperature. For the dry weight and H3 dry weight, table 3 show that the dry weight H and H3 dry weight and percentage of dry weight harvested for 10% and 20% inoculum. The dash shown in the H3 dry weight determined indicate that there was no data obtained for H3 dry weight in this experiment. According to Navy, the ash content of dry microalgae is usually at least 8 to 10 percent of the dry weight. But in this experiment, ash free dry weight cannot be obtained as ash weight is zero since the amount is too little to show when we measure the ash with electronic balance with three decimal point only. It means that we facing a technical problem of using wrong decimal point of electronic balance to measure the edge. Therefore, we suggest that in future study on this microalgae culture should use the balance with four decimal place to or more decimal place to attend the actual edge free dry weight. The percentage of dry weight harvested shown no difference for both inoculum and it suggested that the study of algae productivity still need to improve the period and volume of harvesting depends on conditions to determine the productivity of algae by using dry weight and ash free dry weight method. In conclusion, the increase in culture color by present of chlorophyll pigment, cell division and cell size observed indicate that there are growing of algae in the culture but cannot use to determine the productivity of algae in quantitative form. The experiment also shown that 10% of inoculant has higher growth rate and shorter division time than 20% inoculum as intraspecific competition for nutrient, light intensity, and other resources are high in compact 20% inoculum per fertilizer seawater. In future, we suggest that the study of algae culture should continue until complete life cycle of the algae to determine the optimum period depends 
on condition to harvest the algae for commercial value.